Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be exploring how to read and write to files using JavaScript. So for this video, we're going to be using node.js. So if you haven't already, you're going to want to install that. You can just navigate to node.js, node.js.org and download whichever one applies to your system. And so let's hop right into the code. So first inside of our directory, we have app.js, which is the file that we're going to be using to actually code this project. And we also have this empty test um, or this empty text file. So let's write a little bit in this text file and we can see if we can read it using our app.js. So let's say steam code was here. Then we can save that. Now hop into app.js and first we're gonna need to declare this constant. So constant fs equals require fs and what this says is we're basically going to be using the file system module in node.js which allows us to access the file system and read write to files access folders and do any manner of things you can imagine using that file system now we can say fs dot read file and we're gonna need the first parameter test dot txt this is just the file that we're going to be reading. The second parameter is going to be UTF-8. This is the encoding. And the third parameter will be these two variables, error and data. And these are attributes that are passed in this function. So now we can say, first we're going to need to test if this error, if an error exists, because if an error exists, we don't want to do anything afterwards. So we can say if error, so if that error variable even exists, then console.error, which will log an error message to the console, and we can log that error that was just passed. And then return so that nothing else that's below this line exists. And then we can say console.log the data and the data just represents anything that's within test.txt so now let's run this piece of code we can say node app.js and as you can see it was logged to the console steam code was here because that's what's written inside of this text file and if we change that steam code was here today run the same piece of code as you can see, now what's logged to the console has been changed. So now let's actually start writing to the console. So let's create another constant. This will just be, this will just represent the content. So constant content equals, which say something interesting. And you can use fs dot write file. test.txt then the content that we're going to be using we just use the content variable and then the error now we can say if the error exists just as last time if error then console.error and then we can return afterwards so let's get rid of this that we have up here and let's save and run this file so as you can see before we have steam code is here today so now let's run this file and it changes to something interesting and as you can see the entire code was changed or the entire text was changed inside of this file but if you just want to append something to it you can change this from write file to append file and then we can say something interesting happened today on the computer save and run again as you can see the text now changes to something interesting happened today on the computer let's add an exclamation point at the end save we can see it happen in real time and exclamation point has been added 
all right so that's it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below this has been steam code and i'll see you next time